Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I'm back with a new video. We're gonna unbox a different product this time. These are actually some helmets sent by Steelbird. Steelbird has launched a new series of helmets called the Racetrack Helmets. They've sent me two of those helmets in different colors. So we're gonna unbox and check them out in this video. Let's get started. We'll be unboxing them one by one. So let's start with this one. The box looks quite nice. You've got the Steelbird branding here. The series is called the Racetrack and it has an Italian bargain design. That is very nice. You've got a picture of the helmets on the box. They come in a lot of colors. I wonder what Steelbird sent me. By looking at the pictures itself, you can tell it's an off-road helmet. I think this will definitely look good on my KTM Duke. You've got some details over here on the box. This helmet comes in different sizes like 580mm, 600mm, mine is 600mm model and the price on the box says 2900 rupees. But this thing is available for around 2700 rupees online. So that's it guys, there's nothing else written on the box. Let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut this tape over here. Before I unbox these products, let me tell you one thing guys. I didn't buy these helmets, Steelbird sent them to me for review. Alright, let's open the box. Okay, we've got the helmets over here. It comes in this black colored bag. Let me take it out of the box. So here is our helmet. You've got the Steelbird branding here. By the way, the model of this helmet is SB42 Racetrack series. Let's take it out of the bag. Oh, there's another cover on top of it. Let me remove that also. So here is our new Steelbird SB42 Racetrack helmet. They sent me a red color model with black and white graphics. It looks really cool. It's an off-road style helmet and the build quality looks nice. Feels tough. It has a sun shield at the top and I think that's also removable if you want. Let me also show you how it looks from all the sides. It's a really cool looking helmet. It does look big in size but it's not that heavy. On the overall, from my first impressions, the SB42 looks quite nice. We'll talk about it in a moment. Along with the helmet, you also get a few spares. I guess these are fixed to the helmet in the place of that shield. So these were all the items we got in the box. Let's also unbox the other helmet and check it out. Alright, we have one more SB42 helmet here. This one's a yellow color model. Wow, the colors and the graphic design on these helmets are really good. They look vibrant and attractive. Now let's have a closer look on these helmets and talk about their build quality and the design. The Steelbird SB42 has a bargy Italian design. The build quality is good. The helmet looks tough. The whole shell of the helmet is made of high impact ABS material. The one more thing I should mention about this helmet is, it also supports motocross goggles. You can easily remove the stock visor and swap it with your goggles. The design on the back helps keep the strap in its place. It says RSB here, that means Racing Steelbird which is their newest series. And you've got the Bargate design branding made in Italy. The upper part of this helmet uses air booster ventilation system. You've got air intakes at the top as well as the sides. The SB42 is ISI certified and I believe it also meets European standards. This sunshield can also be adjusted. If you need more shade, you can just pull it down and there's a small extension which comes out and provides even more shade. Let me show you the visor. The outer one's a polycarbonate anti-scratch visor and the visor movement feels smooth. There's also an inner second visor. You can pull that down with the slide switch. It's a rainbow coated mini visor. Let me show you the mouth guard. It's an odorless mouth guard and there's also an air intake in the chin guard which can be opened or closed with this mini slide switch. Now let's talk about the interiors. The cushion is good, not too soft, not too hard. It's got breathable multi-pore padding that feels soft and nice. The padding is also present on the neck part for more comfort. The helmet is made of multi-layer thermocol both of high and low density. And with all these air intakes on it, I think the ventilation will be good inside, but we'll have to see about that. Coming to the buckle, it has a micrometric buckle with a quick release system and the buckle strap also has a padding on it for extra comfort. Let me open it and show you. So that is how easy it is to unbuckle this helmet. Now let's go out, put this helmet on and go for a ride. The SP42 helmet looks very funky and attractive. It looks okay on my bike, but I think this helmet suits more on my Duke. Talking about the comfort, the SP42 is quite comfortable. It fits perfectly on my head, not too tight. I feel it has the right size. And the cutout on the front is also wide. Coming to the visibility, since it has a wide cutout, I could easily see everything from corner to corner. The outer visor was transparent, so you can use it during daytime and nighttime without any problem. But the inner visor was rainbow mirror coated. The visibility was good during daytime, but it is not recommended to use it for night riding. And the ventilation was also good inside. The air booster system was definitely working and keeping the sweat on my head low. 
just check out this clip to see how the helmet looks while riding on the road. So that was my unboxing and overview on the Steelbird SB42 racetrack helmet. It's a good off-road style helmet. The build quality looks tough, has good features and the ventilation was also decent. But I felt the inner visor was a bit loose. It was sometimes falling down. The pricing of this helmet series starts from 2000 rupees depending on the color and the graphics. My model costs about 2700 rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.